morning everyone welcome back to another vlog so i actually found some lost footage of a style bundle i did a few months back more towards like the winter seasons so i thought i'd add it into the beginning of this because i, I love this bundle and it was so much fun and i just really want y'all to see it he said howdy i loved the first bundle so much i wear the bag oh yeah this is a, another returning customer. She's so sweet. She said, love the bundle so much. I wear the bag almost every day. Thank you so much. And then she gave me her measurements because they fluctuate. This style bundle is actually a little bit different than her last one style wise. She was more of like the whimsy gothic vibe last time. But this time she said, my style has been inspired by the more punk looks of the fruit magazines. I like leopard print, corduroy and velvet which is also something she told me last time that corduroy and velvet are two of her favorite materials to wear. And that she had been looking for more screen printed type items and that she's been really into stars and bug prints. And then she gave me a link to her new mood board and I'll pop that up while I'm talking. This one obviously isn't gonna be like super summery vibes, but just think about it for when fall rolls back around. There are some pieces in this though that she can wear while it's hotter, but I'm pretty sure she lives in Portland. So I feel like it like is good for like the gloomy fall, winter weather and even in spring, so. So we're gonna start with this outfit. I am absolutely so jealous of this entire bundle. If this skirt would have fit me, it would be mine, no doubt. So let's start with the skirt. It's a true 80s, like I feel like it's like late 80s, early 90s. And it's yellow, orange, pink, and purple. Love all of these tones. Gives me such like a punky, feminine Fruits Magazine vibe. And then it came with this robe belt. So I'm gonna suggest in the styling letter that she styles it as a skinny scarf, because that's so in right now. And how cute is that, having a matching scarf with your skirt? And obviously she could still wear it as a robe belt on the skirt, but I feel like it just looks better as a scarf. And then I gave her this really dark purple velour three quarter length sleeve, very like whimsy gothy buffy vibe top, but also goes with the purple and the skirt as well, so well. It has a square neckline, so flattering. And it's a really soft and stretchy material. So it'll be super flattering. And then I know she's got like a whimsy gothic vibe. And then I also saw some like moon pendants in her Pinterest board and Depop likes, so. This one is so good. It's got the silver chain. And then I'm also giving her a statement jacket. I saw a lot of like fur lined and cuffed jackets in her Pinterest board. How perfect is this? Goes with literally anything because it's black and it has a little clasp right here where you can clasp it together. How perfect is this outfit? If this fit me and wasn't too small for me, I'd be keeping this, no doubt. Her next option she mentioned really being into like screen printed items lately and a lot of bug prints. So I gave her this statement little lightweight jacket that has like button clasps up the front. It's kind of, it's got this little polo collar. It's very lightweight, can be worn all year long, honestly. I'll bring you in closer to the graphic. It's got this floral graphic with a bunch of butterflies all over it and on the back. And then there's like subtle sequins on some of the butterflies as well. And then I'll throw up the shirt that I was taking inspo from when I picked this shirt out. It's so cool, super stretchy. Got all of this like knitted hold material on it. I don't know how to describe it, but you can see that. Gives me very much that picture on her Pinterest vibe. And then to go along with that, I paired this red zipper skirt that was giving me such a Fruits Magazine punk vibe that I know she'll love and can style with so much in her wardrobe along with this and like this jacket. She can mix and match so many things. And then she also mentioned that she loves velour, loves cheetah print. So I decided to give her this velour cheetah print little baby tank that she can style all year long. She can layer it in the winter and fall and then wear it by itself in the summer and spring. And I feel like if she wanted to pair that jacket with that and then this skirt, that would be so, so cute together. And then if she's down with like mixing prints together a lot, she could even style like that with this jacket with this. Also for this outfit, I'm throwing in these vintage ultra sheer blue tights that ties in perfectly with the blue butterflies. 
and it just gives me such a fruits magazine vibe always like mixing and matching a bunch of colors together and then for this outfit i have styled these little lollipop little dumb dumb looking earrings with it because it goes with the colors in this jacket and just gives a very like punky fruits magazine vibe for her little extras, I saw a lot of Cottage Quarry Prairie dresses in her Depop likes and her Pinterest board. So I threw this one in. It's this baby blue and white gingham print little midi mini dress with the buttons and she can style it however she wants. And I'm also throwing in this little prairie dress as well, just because I told you at the beginning, she had to wait a little bit longer for her bundle. And I saw a few dresses like this in her Pinterest board and I just wanna give her couple extras and give her the freedom to style them how she wants. Baby pink, cute little bow, pockets, ruffles, so cute. And then I think these little strawberry clips and scrunchies will go so good with this dress, this outfit, that outfit, or that outfit, honestly. So she has a lot of options here. I am so in love with this bundle. Let me know what you think down below. I was just having so much fun putting this one together. So we just got back from Lidl and then I want to show you a haul of what I got. I haven't done one of these in a while. So we got passion fruit seltzer waters. We don't drink soda. So I love getting different flavors of seltzer waters. And then they also have cheap wine like Aldi and they have like a really big variety of it over there too. So I got this cheap $3 Pinot Grigio. And then also got this really big $7 bottle of sangria cause that's Robbie's favorite. I'm about to run out of minced garlic. So I just got a big jar of that and then some dry lemon pepper seasoning because we got some like drumstick wings to make this four fruits jam it looks like it has cherries strawberries pomegranate and raspberries sounded really good got uh, some alfredo sauce to do a pasta got some canned chicken to do like chicken salad or Literally just like a chicken casserole or something. Just got some quick backup soups for either when we're just like super busy or don't feel like cooking. So we got this tomato soup with spinach, pasta, penne, and vegetables. Sounded really good and it looks really good. I also just got a potato soup too. Spinach, shale, carrots. Got some of this gourmet jalapeno pimento cheese because I've had... Uh, all these pimento cheese before and it was really good. So we wanted to try this one too. I get plain Greek yogurt because I also use it as a sour cream. You can add just like whatever flavors you want to it on top of that for like a yogurt bowl or whatever. And I got some cinnamon rolls, frozen Brussels sprouts for like side dishes, four cheese, gnocchi to make some type of like pasta dish or like do a couple of side dishes with one week. Some of this frozen boom boom shrimp that has like this chili sauce. Yeah, sweet and spicy chili sauce with it. It's really good. Oven roasted chicken breast just to make some quick sandwiches for lunches. I got this Sicilian style thin crust frozen pizza, frozen blueberries, and then frozen asparagus, some chicken and cheese enchiladas for a night, some frozen butternut squash, chicken egg rolls. These broccoli and cheese stuffed chicken breasts are so good. We got these beef and vegetable dumplings to try. They look really good. Orange chicken, some salmon, some beef sorlin tip steak to make for like breakfast steaks and then just do like a steak. Then we got this family pack of the chicken drumsticks I was talking about to do like some air fried like drumstick wings. Got a chili dark chocolate and a bourbon vanilla white chocolate. This is a fresh baked rosemary olive oil Italian style bread that's gonna be so good for like avocado toast and just like Italian dishes and stuff. And then also these plantain chips that are jalapeno flavor. They look so good. Chocolate and banana like granola morning bars. And then we got a few other little like boring things like essentials like butter and cheese and stuff like that. Oh God, this is about to fall. And like some boring vegetables and like celery and stuff like that. But that was like the gist of what we got plus a few other like produce type items for under $200. And if you get the Lidl app, just for signing up, it'll give you $5 off your next purchase there and then all together I saved another $5 so I got $10 off 
today, which was really cool. So I thought I would add in a little bit of what I eat in a week type deal to this vlog. So I'm going to show you what I'm going to be making for dinner with some leftovers from last night's dinner, which was that Peruvian chicken. So I'll put the recipe for that up on the screen and for the green sauce that I always make with it too. And we also have some leftover um, steak from a couple nights ago that I'm going to mix in. It's going to be a steak and chicken burrito. And then we also have a little bit of roasted potatoes left over from last night too. And I'm going to chop those up roast them up a little bit more, and then add them in the burrito as well, along with some nacho cheese. I'm gonna shred up some regular cheddar cheese, cut up this jalapeno, probably saute some onion and mushrooms. I have some cilantro in a bag. That's how I like to store it, either in a bag with paper towels or in a jar with a little bit of water with a plastic bag on top, but I just needed more room in the fridge. So I stored it like this this time. I love a lot of cilantro. And then I use plain Greek yogurt as our sour cream. And then the green sauce that I made last night as well is gonna be going into the burritos along with like probably like a salsa or a hot sauce as well. So we put a lettuce bud, what, two months ago in the garden bed? A month and a half. Probably like a month and a half ago with just some soil and some of Gizmo's rabbit poop. And this was literally just a lettuce butt, like the very butt end of the lettuce. And look how big and beautiful this has grown in a month's time. That is crazy. So now I don't have to buy lettuce for like two weeks probably. This is what we picked. It is gorgeous. And the leaves are so firm too. We left the top ones on there since they were a little small and we saw that the very top was still growing out some little buds on there. So this is a really nice harvest though. And we took the butt of an old lettuce that we got at the store and this came out of it after a month. It's gorgeous. You could even do this on your apartment balcony if you had a you know, good sized pot to do it in. So now we rinse it out outside with the hose and I'm just gonna put it in the salad spinner and try to dry it off and then let it air dry and then put it in a plastic bag with some paper towels. Today's Sunday, it's gonna be a reset day for us pretty much. We have some cleaning to do around the house. We need to bathe both of the dogs, which takes a little bit of time out because I gotta brush them and groom them and then bathe them because Connie's not so bad. 
with shedding right now, my brown dog, but Thrasher has like three or four coats and he is losing about two of them right now. Every time I pet him, clumps are coming out. So we gotta take care of that or my house is gonna be filthy all the time with dog hair. Robbie ran and got me some more matcha cause we just run out and I want to make us a strawberry milk matcha that I saw someone on a vlog that I was watching make and it looked so good. one too and his has some of the homemade honey mustard dressing that I made the other day but uh, mine has the rest of that green dressing on it. it is literally so good I'm just waiting on Robbie to get back in from drumming right now but I'm gonna go ahead and eat mine this is so good with that leftover chicken in it it's like cold chicken with that Peruvian recipe that I showed y'all that lettuce from our garden is literally so crisp and crunchy and fresh tasting. Oh my gosh. So glad I was able to get that out of the garden this week. The chicken that I use is the, I think three pound frozen bag chicken breast from Aldi. I think it's like $8.99 or $9.99. The prices have been fluctuating lately there because of I guess inflation and everything been kind of going up on stuff but it's the perfect thinness to cook perfectly even through i hate when i get a chicken breast and I, I like when they're like nice and big but if they're too thick on one side or something it just doesn't cook evenly but it seems like every time i get the frozen chicken at my aldi at least it is like the perfect thinness i don't know how to explain it and then i make that marinade for it it's literally my favorite marinade to make right now for chicken it'd probably be good on like salmon too honestly and pork or any meat or tofu or like whatever you eat veggies even and then i marinate it up to like usually three to six hours but the other day i did it overnight you could do that too but yeah so that's lunch it's a little bit later in the day because we ate a late breakfast it was basically brunch we ate it around i made it around 11 30 and then we ate around 12 so it was lunch and breakfast so this is like a pre-dinner <laughs> this is like a little salad i'm not sure what i'm planning for dinner tonight i'm gonna talk about it with robbie the ingredients that I'm going to be using for the strawberry matcha, organic matcha powder, brown sugar, cinnamon, a few strawberries, and some milk creamer, whatever you got. The matcha I've been using for a couple years is this matcha love one that I get at Kroger. And recently it seems like they don't have that one anymore. So when Robbie went and got me some matcha today at the store, he found this jade leaf one that I've seen some people use. So I'm gonna try this one as well because this one has like, probably only like one serving left in it. I know I haven't shown myself drinking water in this vlog yet, but I drink a lot of water. I've already drank about three of these containers today. I try to drink like three to five of these at least a day. So drink some water right now. Okay, so I'm gonna add the matcha first and then do that strawberry milk on top. Shoot, I'm gonna spill it. Okay, so I just tried the milk by itself. It is so good. So there's no way this can't be good. So I'm gonna do a little taste test. That's really good. It's like a strawberry matcha smoothie. So good. You should definitely try this recipe at home.
I'm making dinner now. I've already got the rice prepped and ready to go. It's already done. I'm steaming some broccoli over on the stove now. And now I'm about to start these beef and vegetable dumplings that I got at Lidl yesterday. I'm gonna do the pan fry method. So I need to heat up some vegetable oil. I also made my own little dumpling sauce since it didn't come with any. And I was gonna make this chili sauce but it takes too many spices that I don't have so these are all the ingredients that I use to make the little sauce it tastes really good actually and then I used a little knob of this ginger too in it as well and um, some minced garlic that I already put up This sandwich is so good. The rosemary bread, fresh rosemary bread really does make this. And then just like the Italian theme going on with it too. So good. If your grocery store or bakery or whatever has some like fresh olive oil, rosemary bread, please try it if you like that because it's been the best avocado toast. I had that this morning. I didn't film it because it was a basic oatmeal and avocado toast breakfast because we were like in a rush this morning, but this bread, I'm gonna have to get if they have it again, cause it is literally so soft on the inside and it has some rosemary and olive oil on the inside as well. And then as well as rosemary on the crust, as you can see, 10 out of 10 sandwich. So I'm about to make some green juice right now. I haven't made it for the week yet. This much celery, a few stalks of it, a good bit of this ginger, one whole lemon, two of these apples. And I'm um, gonna peel these apples too before I cut them up in there so I don't get any of like the wax or whatever they put on it on the outside in my juice. I also added some kale and spinach to the juice as well. And then before I blend it all together, I'm gonna also add some collagen powder to it.
is my brunch since I only had like one piece of avocado toast when Robbie left earlier around eight o'clock this morning. So I'm feeling a little hungry. I have a lot to do today. So these two pancakes are gonna give me, I think 14 or 16 grams of protein. And then instead of having maple syrup, I added some fruit spread to some Greek yogurt that I had for a topping. And the amount of Greek yogurt I used, I think was almost equivalent to 17 grams. So this little meal right here is a lot of protein and it's gonna get me through the day. Then I'm just gonna finish up my little matcha lemonade. So yummy. Let's give these pancakes a little try. If you have an Aldi near you, that is my, I would recommend going to get those pan, that pancake mix. That is like my favorite flavor of pancakes, but I've never done this like yogurt fruit spread thing. So let's see how it is. Oh, that's really good. It's like subtly sweet too. It's not as sweet as like using maple syrup and fruit spread because that yogurt that I use is plain. So it has like more of a plain taste and then you add your own sweetness from the fruit. That's amazing. I have another pop shelf haul, what's new. I went in there initially just for one thing and came out with a few other things that I didn't know they had. So I needed a new journal for like a personal use. I have a lot of journals for like work stuff, but just for personal use to write down thoughts that I need to get out of my head and everything. And then this really cute lavender and peach color little gingham situation going on. And they had a lot of other different styles too, but I just thought this was perfect for spring and summer. And it just like accidentally went with this purple like color scheme that I didn't mean to go with. And then I got a new beauty blender because mine are getting really dingy and that was a dollar. And I think this was two or three dollars. This protective razor little clear case. I love that. It'll help bacteria not get in it and just like I can just sit it on surfaces more easily. I got some Castile soap to use on my privates because I heard that's like the most gentle and best soap to use down there or like from my girl Ashley Ridge on YouTube. If you watch her, you've seen her self-care videos, they go in. And then I passed by this face mask and it's a collagen and vitamin C lavender facial gel mask and it's a really big size for $5. So I wanted to try that out. In the body care section, they have a lot of different little scents right now, but I'm loving this packaging. It drew me in and then I started smelling some of them and they all smell so good, but this one is just exactly what I wanna smell like right now for the summer. Coconut mint, if you have a pop shelf near you, go in and smell these scents. They have a shampoo, conditioner, body scrub, body washes, I think maybe a body lotion, body mist. They have a ton of stuff in this little packaging right here. So I got a refreshing body mist to like have in my bag or use after a workout if I'm running errands or you know, whatever. Don't wanna use an actual perfume and to spray on me when I get out of the shower. So it'll complement this body wash that I got in the same scent. They smell literally so clean and good. So a few days ago, Robbie brought me home these three storage bins you see right here. He brought me it from someone that donated these to us from their storage bin. They just moved in a few weeks ago to the uh, art studio that Robbie works at. And she said that she also had a ton more for me if I wanted it. I haven't even looked in here yet except for the top bin. Robbie said I was gonna like shit my pants basically when I saw this. I'm still trying to figure out if it's real or not. But can we talk about this? pale baby like yellow so spring summer little under the shoulder Louis Vuitton like I'm probably gonna keep this I will carry this all year and on the back of it, it does have some orange like pin marks or scuff marks I'm not sure what it is if you have any tips on how to get that out of whatever material this is let me know I'm gonna try a magic eraser maybe hopefully it won't mess it up All right, we have some like early 2000s Abercrombie and Fitch little micro mini shorts. Here's what they look like close up, so cute. And then the back, I'll have these for my Depop. Of course it's still, there's a little bit of damage on it, but that's okay. Love this shape of belt buckle. And then yeah, it's got the corset all the way up. How oh, cool, this is like a little, corset moment situation belt. I'm gonna keep it for myself. Just to like have for layering dresses and stuff. Let's see how it looks. 
Oh yeah, that's cute. I've been wanting one of these too, to like do dresses with. So I'm gonna keep that for myself. Oh heck yeah, it's like a chain belt, if I can get it unraveled. Look at this super big O-ring chain belt, love it. Let's see if it fits me. Ooh, I could do some looks with this. It actually does fit me, so rare. I'm gonna have to style some outfits, some summer outfits with this, so cute. And I can even go lower, let's see. I can even style it low waisted, which is never anything I can do. Yeah, I'm gonna have to keep that. And then there's this other little chain scarf thing. Let's see what that is. Ooh, I wanna wear this as a hair accessory. Are you joking? These little O-rings with the scarf intertwined in it. Heck yeah, like a headband or something. Oh, and I can wear it as a belt. Yes, yes, yes. I'm gonna go through it quickly and just see what I wanna keep or see if I wanna keep any of it. Honestly, I'm trying not to have any winter stuff in my possession right now other than what I already have back stocked. This one's actually pretty cute. I might keep that one. Oh, there's a leg warmer. I'm gonna keep that. Most of these I'm gonna donate though. This one's pretty cool. I like this green one with all this funky like texture going on. Oh yeah, I love that. It's got like this knitted texture going on. I'm gonna keep that one. These I'm probably gonna donate. Here's some little arm warmers things I'll put with my winter accessories. Ooh, they're Betsy Johnson. Betsy Johnson little arm warmers. They're like mittens that you don't put your fingers through. So this little situation, they're Betsy Johnson. Oh, what the fuck? Hold on. Um, I'm feeling velvet suede, super softness. There's fur trim. And it's by Dollhouse. Okay, my God, this is gorgeous. Are you shitting me? Are you joking? Are you joking? Look how cute that Dollhouse tag is. I remember that tag from like my childhood, early teen years. I used to have so many pairs of pants in that. Look at this beautiful coat. I can't describe how soft this is. And none of this has a funky smell. Oh, I'm so excited. It's a medium. Probably will be too tight, but I gotta try it on for you guys. The cuffs are so big. Okay, yeah, I can't wear it, but for next fall, this is going on my Depop. This is so gorgeous. I'm so mad. This doesn't fit, but like, just imagine. Oh my gosh. You're joking. You're joking, you're joking. Look how big the cuffs are. The colors are just gorgeous and all the buttons. Yeah, there's only two buttons, but they're both there. There's pockets, so freaking clean. Look at this evening dress. It says it's been made in India and it says Scarlet Night. Looks more early 2000s. And then it's got the chiffon layover material. It's got this like ruching. And then it's got these little diamantes. And then look at the hemline. Love it. I'm gonna have to keep this. It doesn't look like there's any damages on it. I'll have this listed on Depop shortly. So this pile right here is what I'm gonna end up donating. It's pretty hefty. And then this is the little pile that I'm keeping. I have some accessories right there that I'm keeping. So yeah, my local women's thrift store is about to get a lot of sundresses and just summer type stuff and also some sweaters for next season that they can just put in storage. I have packed up all of that stuff that I wanna donate to that thrift store that helps out like women's shelters and stuff like that. And then in that bin and those accessories right there is everything that I'm keeping. And then I wanted to show Robbie when he gets home from work. Right now, I'll throw up the inspo right here of the outfit that I'm gonna be recreating on my TikTok. And if you're not following me on TikTok and you have a TikTok, go ahead and do that. I have all of my socials linked in the description. So here is the pieces. Everything is thrifted except for these are my husband's suicidal tendency stance socks that he's had since like I met him. He actually found this, I think it's a soccer jersey, correct me if I'm wrong, but he actually found this jersey not too long ago in the dumpster behind his work. Pretty cool. And then have my Evanescence little white trash hat. And then this chain belt just came in, as you saw, that haul. Then I have my shoes. And then I'm just smoking a bowl real quick and watching Mina Lee before I get to filming that TikTok and putting everything away. Okay, so I just got a package in the mail from Amazon a few hours ago. 
And I just got done with my workout. Look how cute this little zip up tank top is. I'll put my code in the description if you want some money off from Halara with it. But I got a few things in the mail from Amazon and I wanted to show you what I got. So the first thing I essentially wanted to get on Amazon was this um, Beekeepers Naturals Complete Gut Health. It's a pre, pro and post biotic. And it says it's good for bloating, digestive support, whole body balance, and there's just really good ingredients in it. So that's what I'm gonna start taking. I got this instant cuticle remover for when I do my nails. Another cuticle like trimmer, cause mine broke. I got some lint roller replacements because I'm about out and I always need that for when I'm shipping orders out. And then I got this heatless hair curler. I'm sure you've seen this on the internet. It's one of those little satin ones with the two scrunchies where you can either leave it in for a few hours or sleep in it. And I think I'm going to try it out before me and Robbie go out later. This little shower pillow that has suction cups on it that you actually, there's an inflatable part on the inside that you inflate. So when I'm taking a bath, my head isn't like just hitting the back of the bathtub. And I already have these in my shoes because I worked out in them earlier. And it's these women's extra support um, little Dr. Scholl's inserts and they're specifically made for plus size women. And for a while I'm running and everything, it's gonna help with like lower back pain and foot and like fatigue and like, like shin splints and stuff. It just has extra support and I can feel the difference already in my shoes when I'm working out. I got some bio oil for my face to use and then for just like stretch marks and stuff too because it's good with that and just different scarring that I have on my body. So these are two silver satin pillowcases that I got for me and Robbie to use because it's better for our skin and hair. And then I had to replace our smallest poly mailer bags for when we ship stuff out because we ran out. And I got this really pretty lavender color. And I got myself another little like accordion labeled folder for my tax information. And then for my dogs, I ordered this wild Alaskan salmon oil to put pumps of it in their food because I'm trying to get them on a more balanced diet and try to wean them off of like store-bought kibble. I kind of want to just start home making their food like I used to. It just kind of got expensive, but I saw this TikTok of this girl um, talking about how she makes for two dogs it only costs her $35 to make their homemade food and she freezes it, I think too. So I'm gonna start doing that and then adding like crushed up eggshells. And I also saw on Amazon some like eggshell calcium powder that you can add into their food too that I think I might get too. But I've used this in their food this morning and they loved it. They usually like let their food sit around for a few hours before they'll eat it. But this, they just jumped right on it with the eggshells too. Just like lightly dampening it and then brushing it through. Like most of the hair is still pretty dry. Just wanna get like a nice kind of like base going. This and then put this little clip right here. And then you just start wrapping your hair around it. I honestly have no idea if I am doing this right or grabbing any of this correctly because this is my first time ever doing this. I'm just like going off of what I've seen on like TikTok and stuff and just the way it describes how to do it. Kind of like feeding it into the other one. Just taking that and making sure it's kind of like tight around it so it doesn't lose its shape. So my hair is very like fine and thin. I need to like make sure it doesn't slick off of it. But I think I'm doing this right. It's pretty easy. And then, okay, that's all of the hair from that side. So I'm gonna take the scrunchie. Oh gosh, it is slipping off over there. And just fold what I didn't use. I think this is how it goes. We'll, we'll try out the loose curl today. So I'm gonna wait a couple of hours and then take this out and see what happens because I might really like doing this for when I need to like get ready and have a couple hours to do it and don't wanna put heat on my hair. So let's go do our nails. So I recently got this little mini UV lamp and gel nail colors with the top coat and the base coat from this cute little small business called Nail Reserve. They're based in LA and 
I picked out some colors to try out. This one, I was so excited to try out. It's called Yellow Green. And then this really like iridescent sparkly one is called Firefly. This really sparkly blue, I think I wanna do on my toes later, is called Sweet Sapphire. And they're so sweet. They just also included two extra colors for me to try too, which is this white color called White Addict. And then this like nudie brown color which is called Sea Swing and Sun. So first I got to take care of these crusty dusty nails by taking off my cuticles. Now that I removed all my cuticles, I went ahead and buffed my nails with this and shaped them with a nail file the way I want to. I'm trying to grow my natural nails out, so I'm not gonna do any tips today. So the kit comes with this little mini UV light and it has two settings, a 45 second and a 60 second. So after every step you do with these gel nails, so like you do the top coat first, then stick your fingers underneath this, and then do the color and stick your fingers underneath it again, and then do the top coat and do it again. So I'm gonna go through the process of that. These are the two top, this is the base coat and the top coat. And then for my nails today, I think I'm gonna be using the yellow green color because I just really love this green color. And then later on, when I have more time, I'm gonna put this on my toes. I need to give myself a nice pedicure first though. Okay, so I just finished my nails. Look how professional these look. I'm always used to just doing them with regular nail polish and I get it so messy. I get it all over my skin and they always turn out so just like not smooth. Look how shiny and smooth. And I absolutely love this color. I can't wait to try the other colors. And I love that it's vegan and that they try to keep all like harsh chemicals out of it too. Just makes it even better. And if you use my code, you can get 50% off your order. That's insane. So we're about to go have like a late lunch, early dinner over in the square. And I'm going to see what happened here with these curlers. I know I didn't do it tight enough because it's like so loose and falling. But it's my first attempt. So we'll see how it turned out. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That's actually really nice. My hair is still kind of damp, but that's fine. Cause I only left it in for like an hour or so. Give it like a nice little shape. If I would have left it in longer, obviously, or slept in it, it'd probably be way curlier. So I'm just gonna style this real quick, but I know I'm gonna like that. I'm preparing some of Gizmo's food, which is my little rabbit. And I'm putting in some mint leaves, some cilantro. I'm gonna put a couple pieces of cucumber in it. And I'm gonna take the skin off since you know they cover it with like wax and all that. And then I'm gonna cut up a couple of pieces of these. And then I'm gonna mix it up and have it for the week. So I'm making more than I need to. And then I'm gonna give him a fourth of a cup of pellets, maybe a little bit less for the day because they don't need very much of that. And then just put some fresh hay out there for him. He hasn't had these veggies in a few days, so I just wanted to spice it up for him. I like to switch it out. banana pudding ice cream to try because I didn't know they even had like a little ice cream parlor in that taco shop. Looks so good. Oh, yeah. It's good. 